This question reviews a typical Venn diagram style problem and 100 people were asked whether they have used three certain methods to reduce their carbon footprint. One was to reduce their car use, that's that circle there. Another was to improve their home insulation. Another was to avoid air travel. And the outer part represents those who have not tried one of those three options there. Now then, one person is selected at random and the chance that this person has avoided air travel. Now this circle is to avoid air travel. 2 plus 4 plus 1 is 7, so 7 out of 100 is therefore the answer to the chance that this person has avoided air travel. Part B says has used at least two of the three methods. Now this number here is just reduced car. This is just home insulated and this here is to avoid air travel. There was no person in there hence the lack of a number. But these inner ones here represent two or more ways in which they tried to reduce their carbon footprint. So 11 people both reduced their car use and had their home insulated. Two, reduce car and avoid air travel. One, insulation and avoid air travel. Those four were all three. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. The answer is 18 out of 100 again because there were 100 people in total. Now part two might appear at first glance more complicated. It says given that the person we've chosen at random has avoided air travel, what's the chance that this person has reduced car use? But all this means is, is let's, let's limit ourselves to the avoided air travel circle. We know this person has avoided air travel in this circle. There are only seven people in this circle so our answer is out of seven and of those seven people the number of people who reduce their car use are the people in the reduced car use circle and that's two and four. There were six people out of the seven who reduce their car use. So the answer is 6 out of 7. So on a Venn diagram, if you're asked a conditional or given probability, we look at the relevant circle and just that circle. The final part says, three people are selected at random. What's the chance that none of them have avoided air travel? We know that seven people have avoided air travel. And we want three people. The first person, the second person, and the third person. When we first get the person out of the group, there are 100, take seven, 93 people who had not avoided air travel. So for the first person, it's 93 out of 100. But once that person's gone, we put them out of the group, there's then 92 out of 99 people left. But once that second person's been picked, there's 91 out of 98 people. So if we times together these three fractions, we find the chance that none of them have avoided air travel. So, 93 times 92 times 91, 7785, 96, all over 100 times 99 times 98, which is 970200. Again, that might cancel down. 778596 all over 970, 200, 
It cancels down a little bit, but to a decimal it is 0 0.803 to 3dp.